So that's why I actually came out with the idea of Be Proud. And what Be Proud is is something that you'll see in the next couple of weeks. But uh, it's a it's a very powerful, hopefully, social media as well as mass media campaign. Uh, just to also give you a briefing of what and why we actually need to go ahead and do this. This actually happened two days ago. Uh, this is a very famous singer, Chris Brown. Uh, influencers, influenced by millions of people, actually a very talented artist. But he decided for Halloween it'd be nice to actually be a terrorist, at least in the eyes of what he thought a terrorist looked like. And someone, at least in the media, that powerful, that actually has a gift, is doing this, is actually doing a misservice to our society because we're supposed to basically say, you know what, that is not a terrorist, right? A person wearing a turban, a person having a beard is not a terrorist. And just because you have a gun on, does, is, is it going to make at least people get along that much better? So this is the importance of it. This is why we need to go ahead and do something like this. So the idea of Be Proud is regardless of who we are, what we look like, where we come from, or how much or little we have, we should always be proud. Be proud of the fact that we're all unique and different one way or another. And this campaign, again, the reason why I want to just stress on the fact is that this is just not about Sikhs, because if it was just about that, it wouldn't connect everyone together. So part of my uh, agenda has been for the last couple of months is to unite different organizations, different celebrities, different influencers, which we've had a lot of great success with. And hopefully after the launch, we'll continue to be able to do so. Nothing is more powerful than belief. One of the other two things I want to do is model this around two other successful campaigns that have happened. One of them, I'm sure you all have seen, Coney 2012, over 100 million views, became a viral sensation, actually allowed people to realize something was going wrong in that region. It captured an emotion, right? And that was a great, great social awareness campaign that, that, that was able to happen. Another one was, it gets better. This is where people actually uh, created their own YouTube videos. And over 50,000 YouTube videos now exist with millions of views about telling people it gets better. So. What, what are we trying to accomplish with this? Right now, we have 2 billion people on the internet. 2 billion people. That's the same amount of people we had in 1925 in the entire world, right? That is a very powerful type of audience. And because the internet's, because I, we've all witnessed it, it's allowed us to go out and transmit information so fast and actually allow us to align around one common message and one common theme through the power of information. And if governments can be overthrown, by the power of this information, then we can do one step further in terms of trying to end hate by unifying us around this common cause. So my goal is that through education, we can fight and we will end hate. But that's going to happen if we all work together on it. And we all realize that it is a problem that we all have to solve together. So the first step of it is this is how social media gets involved. We're launching a Facebook application on November 12th very easily. How many, how many of you guys have a Facebook account? Okay, I'm sure all of you guys do. So the fact is, if you do, it requires three clicks. You go to beproud.org, you click on it, it's gonna go ahead and uh, select your profile picture, it's gonna add a Be Proud stamp on it, and it's gonna virally share it, either through Facebook or Twitter, the fact that you've joined the movement to end hate, and that you actually are fighting your stance. You're also gonna be able to see a live feed of everyone joining the movement at that time. Name, first name, last name, and location. So there is that viral component that we'll be able to have, as well as the unification you'll be able to see of everyone being, being able to support the cause. YouTube, this is also a big part of our lives now. So the fact that we can actually have the power of visual messaging. So some of the celebrities that we've gotten on board very quickly was Deepak Chopra, Jay Sean, uh, actually the Nelson Mandela family yesterday. They've all recorded uh, a 60 second message that basically says, what are you proud of and what do you stand for? And the, the goal is now is that now each one of you guys, your friends and neighbors and so forth should also do the same because that's the way we're able to go and unify and create a message that actually can become viral. Some of the other celebrities that were getting involved, Sir Ben Kingsley, Mark Cuban's actually offered to run the Be Proud campaign on his network alongside the Primetime Network. So people actually are realizing that this is a problem and that all are becoming supportive around this cause. So what's next? Get involved. Very, very low bar in getting involved. Facebook, YouTube, talking about it, talking to your neighbors about it, and being able to go ahead and connect with us and letting people know who we are and what you stand for 
and what you're proud of. We're also collaborating with many, many different organizations. So we will have the power of connecting with different uh, 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 different ethnicities and so forth with the common goal of being able to go ahead and uh, rally around a common message. Our web version will go live November 12th, so it's a matter of less than a week and a half. And our television will actually uh, go live on uh, the week after. Uh, if you have noticed, we also have a cameraman here, so if you actually want to go ahead and record a message, we have it ready to go and you can go ahead and share with the world even uh, today what you're most proud of. Uh, and, and lastly, this is just the beginning. I mean, what you'll see right now next is a web version of our campaign. And we tried to make it simple. We tried to make it broad. We tried to make it have emotion. And we're hoping that through the audience that we'll be able to create, with the power of the internet, with the power of social media, uh, we'll be able to go and unite around a common message and, uh, and be proud of who we are. Thank you.